Sempre pensando na segurança dos motoristas, a Aliança acompanhou de perto a evolução do cinto de segurança. Hoje ninguém mais discute sua importância, mas cada vez mais fica evidente que sozinhos eles não protegem totalmente quem viaja de carro. O melhor parceiro do cinto são os airbags. Mas os airbags exigem também alguns cuidados importantes por parte do motorista. O que você pode nos dizer a respeito da evolução desse item? O número de airbags nos carros tem aumentado muito forte nos últimos anos. Você não tem só frontal airbags, você tem airbags no lado, você tem curtain airbags. Nós, hoje, o primeiro carro no mercado que tem um airbag no lado para proteger os passageiros. E também a forma que os airbags se inflam e a forma que os sensores detect an accident has been improved. So for example, we had some testing of sensors here, which are much quicker to detect an impact and which then help to inflate the airbag much faster. That's very important, for example, in side impacts, where you have little space where the energy can be absorbed, so the airbag has to inflate very quickly. So if we have a rear impact, Now today we have systems that can see coming crashes. Uh, PreSafe uh, is the name that Daimler-Benz has uh, developed for this. PreSafe says we have a belt pretensioner um, that reacts if the car thinks that an accident may occur and uh, pulls the belt into this roll, puts tension on the belt, gets you in the right position to keep you there in case an accident really occurs. To improve the airbag as well, we have systems that know how heavy you are and where you are. So they can fire one cartridge, two cartridge, one after the other. That depends on, your, uh, on the severity of the accident and on the uh, weight and tallness of the occupant. because it explodes in front of you. So it really has to be worked around so don't hurt people inside the car. So there are many things that are important. One thing is you need to be belted so you, then you have an optimal level of safety because the belt keeps you from moving forward too much and the airbag is inflated just at the right time. So that's, that's a very ideal combination. On the other hand, the airbag should not inflate below a crash, for example, at 15 kilometers per hour, because then it's just occurring repair costs, and there's a certain risk, for example, for, for passenger to get hurt, but mostly these are minor effects. So in total, you can say the airbags make traffic safer, but they have to be designed to provide optimal protection. I think what is important regarding airbag is that there are certain situations in the car where the airbags um, can be dangerous. One of it is if you put a child seat on the front seat that is facing rearward, you should deactivate the airbag. You must deactivate it because it's a big risk for the child if the airbag inflates. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. On the other hand, Situations can be dangerous where you're out of the normal position, so you should never put your feet on the dashboard, for example, because if the airbags inflate in that situation, it can um, lead to severe injuries. What is your opinion about the being enforced, you know, mandatory, that we have airbags on our cars in Brazil? You should, of course, have airbags in the car, because in severe, uh, severe accidents, as already said, the uh, loading um, provided by the seatbelt may be so high that uh, you might have broken ribs or things like that. And to prevent occupants or drivers from this, it's a very good thing to have airbags. We have significantly lower death rates on German roads uh, since airbags came up. In severe accidents, you will have a very good uh, response to the airbag or due to the, air, due the airbag.